Hi guys, welcome back to Software Here Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add exit intent pop up like this into your Elementor page. You can see when I try to close this tab, this pop up will appear. Now you can see I have a heading over it, subheading of home, and when I try to click outside the pop up, this will not disappear because I have prevented this pop up not to close on overlay. Here is the close button and also a cool animation in this pop-up so to create exit intent pop-up like this let's go to your dashboard and where i will show you how to create it from scratch so here i am on my dashboard first of all i will create a pop-up so for this i will go to templates and click on pop-ups by the way you cannot create pop-ups in the elementor free version you have to install elementor pro to create the pop-up so to create pop-up i will click on this add new pop-up here make sure to select pop-up and here you have to add the name i will type exit intent and then i will cl click on create template now here it will show you some templates but i will not use any template i will create it from scratch so i will click on discuss button and here you have to create your pop-up so before adding any content i will show you how the settings works so i will click on the settings page now here you have different settings like uh, style and advanced settings so here you have the width you can increase the width of the pop-up or decrease it but i will use default here you have the height you can make it fit to screen or add a custom height like this but i will use fit to content here you can align it anywhere on the page horizontally or vertically here you have the close on overlay here you have the overlay you can see when the pop-up appears the background is blurred but when i close you can see the background is completely appearing but i will enable it here you can enable or disable this close button and you have the entrance animation and the exit animation i will select this one and here you have the animation duration here you have some preview settings but uh, i will go to style here you can add the background for this pop -up. also you can add border and radius you can add shadow to the pop up and here you have the overlay and also you have this close button you can change the positions of the close button and also add background color but i will go to advanced and show you the advanced setting settings of the pop up here you have the show close button after sometimes i will select two seconds so when this pop-up appears after two seconds this close button will appear automatically close you can add a specific time to close automatically pop-up but i will not add this feature prevent closing on overlay i will enable it so when somebody clicks on outside the pop-up this pop-up will not disappear here you have the disable page scrolling the scrolling behind the pop-up in the page i will disable it and also i will avoid multiple pop-ups here i have the margins and padding and also i have this custom css but i will add 50 pixels of padding now i will go to content and add content here first of all i will click on this plus button and add a new section and then i will click on this plus button and drag in and heading widget now here i will type haven't you subscribed yet and then i will align it to the center i will go to style and go to typography here i will increase its size to 35 its weight i will make it 700 and from the transformation i will make it uppercase now i will add text editor and here i will type make sure to subscribe now i will go to style align it to the center and here in the typography i will change the font to abel and here i will change its size to 20. let's wait i will make it 700 now under this subheading i will add form so i will search for the form and i will drag this widget under this now here you can add any type of field i will delete this message field and only use this name and email field 
I will hide the labels and show the required mark. Also, you can show the required mark, but I will hide them. And for the name, I will make it required. Now I will go to buttons, and here I will align it to the center, and I will change the button text to subscribe. Also, I will change its size to medium. Now here I have the action after submit. I will collect the submission and the send email to our specific email. So where you want to get the email notification, you have to add your email address here, the subject and the fields. And here you have the step settings, but I will not go into there. Just here I will go to style. Here in the style, you can change the form, gap, row gaps label and other things but i will leave them to the default now i will publish the pop-up so here i have to add conditions triggers and advanced rules first of all i will add condition to show it on entire site then i will move to triggers and here i will appear it on exit intent and then i will go to advanced rules and i will show it on the all devices and show on all browsers now save and close now the pop-up is live. Let's go to your live site where I will show you how it works. Now here I am on my live site. When I try to close this tab, you can see the pop-up is quickly appears and this button will appear after 2 seconds of the pop-up. Here you can add your name, email to subscribe and when I click on outside this pop-up, it will not disappear. Yes, I will click on this cross button to disappear it. That's how you can add exit intent pop up into your Elementor page. Hope you learned something new in this tutorial. If so, please like this video and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and also press bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching.